Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Cronus, and welcome to the best way to play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in 2023. Now, I know this video is a little late, but I was having some problems with my PC, and I had to send it into the repair shop, but I have it back now, and it's still January, so it's still the new year, right? But anyways, you may be wondering, what is the best way to play Ocarina of Time in 2023, Cronus? And, well, let me just mention that this is my opinion. Um, if you have a different opinion, obviously that's completely okay. In my opinion, the best way to play Ocarina of Time in 2023, and that is the Ocarina of Time PC port, also known as the Ship of Arcanian. So, what is the Ship of Arcanian, you might ask? Well, I am going to read you this from the GitHub page. The Ship of Arcanian is a PC port of Ocarina of Time, allowing you to enjoy the game with modern controls, widescreen, high resolution, gyroscopy and other great features but in this video i'm going to be going over all those enhancements and features to you guys so that you guys can see just why i think this is the best way to play ocarina of time in the new year so with that being said sit back relax grab a snack get something to drink and let's go all right so here we are in the middle of hyrule field here running around and the first thing that you might recognize here is just how smooth this game is running and yes that is because i am running this game at 240 frames per second now that is a little bit overkill but you can also go 60 you can go 30 and that is way different than the original 20 frames per second that this game ran on on the nintendo 64 and what you'd be getting on something like a project 64 emulator or uh, something like that another thing that you might recognize right off the bat is uh the free camera or <laughs> there's a, actually a lot of things that you might recognize right off the bat and i'll get all into all of that but i want to mention some of the most like exciting features for me and that is the free camera so yeah this is the modern controls thing we have a free camera now also you can see widescreen support as well looks really awesome really smooth and it's just all around super great so what we're going to be doing in this video is actually going into the uh settings menu and we're going to be looking at every single options every settings that you can change every feature that you can add every enhancement that you can put on so what you're going to want to do is you're going to press f1 and it's going to bring up this right here at the top it's going to bring up your mouse um so you can see shipwright settings enhancements cheats developer tools randomizer we're going to get into all of that today so i'm not going to be going super in-depth i'm not going to be for example there's a cosmetics editor i'm not really going to be messing with any of that i actually did that in a past video so you guys can check that out if you want to go check that out but i am going to be at least going over it and showing you guys exactly what you can do starting with settings we have audio so uh, it's just master volume main music all that stuff next up we have the controller settings and you can configure your own controller so here i have the xbox one s controller and in here you'll be able to do the right stick which is the free camera um, and i'm going to show you guys how to do that next we have graphics and now this is very important the most important thing here is jitter fix so whenever we get to the feature in enhancements where you're going to be able to set your frames you're also going to want to match that to the jitter fix so for example if you do 60 fps on the frames and then you accidentally leave jitter fix to like 20 then it'll be weird i haven't experienced that for myself because i've always set it all to 240 but um yeah it, it'll jitter i guess and then you have this as well and this is stuff that you can do if you want to like add your own textures i think there isn't official support for textures right now but there are ways that you can get custom textures there will be official support for textures in the future hopefully the near future because that is my number one hope is that we can get the game looking like the 3ds or even better but then also there's experimental texture filter text font stuff like that i don't really get into all of this because i'm waiting for like official stuff but there are ways that you can add your own textures if you want to know look up ship of arcanian special k and then we have languages so we can translate from english to german to french translate title screen don't know how well it works because i've never done it but hey I'm, I'm assuming it works pretty well all right next we have enhancements and this is the big one you can do so much in the ship of arcanian with the enhancements and i have already done a ton so we're going to go over these enhancements and uh yeah this is a big one so get ready we have presets i've never done this before but this actually seems really cool if you just want to get in kind of like a plug and play and don't really want to experiment with your own stuff so it looks like we have the default which is just default experience of ocarina of time vanilla plus enhance and randomizer next we have gameplay this is some big stuff time savers is really huge you can do tech speed get that you know as fast as possible this stuff time savers is for if you have played the game already multiple times and you just kind of want to do like a you know 
skip some things, make some things faster. Uh, for example, King Zora's speed, you know how he moves really slowly and it's really funny. You can make him move a little faster. Big Goron Forge time, we actually did this in my recent video. We did the Big Goron Sword side quest. You can make it zero days, so you're just gonna be able to give Big Goron the claim check once he gives it to you and you instantly get the Big Goron Sword. And then we have Vine slash Ladder climb speed. And as you can see, I have this all the way up plus 12. And this is something that I wanna show you guys because it's actually really funny. Um, so I'm not even gonna worry about these skull tools right here because I can just zoom past these guys at mock speeds. It's really freaking funny. Uh, and it's just a, this is a huge time saver. We also have block pushing speed plus five, which speeds up the, you know, when you're pushing blocks. Uh, and then we have all this stuff. Like I said, I'm not going to be going into all of this stuff because it's really fast. But if you want to pause the video and check this out, there's a lot of things here that is really going to help you out. Uh, and make things just a lot faster for example one that is crucial in my opinion is better owl the default response to kpora gaybora is always that you understood what he said so if you're just going through it and uh, mashing the b button to skip the text you don't actually say no i don't understand you'll you'll just be able to go through it really quickly that's a really big help and then we have items this one is a big one uh for me if you guys watch my kind of playthrough of showcasing the ship of arcanian here that i've been doing bunnyhood effect is a really good one that i use in every single video since I got the bunny hood and that is to allow the bunny hood that you get in this game to have the properties of the Majora's Mask bunny hood which is the faster run and longer jump this one is huge I really recommend enabling this one it allows you to run a lot faster and then we have difficulty options this one's a really cool one i've never i haven't gotten into this one yet but i might in future uh just on, on my own or in future videos uh damage multiplier fall damage multiplier void damage multiplier all this stuff potion values shooting gallery bomb chew bowling fishing i haven't really gone into any of this but you can make the game a lot harder so you could do like a hardcore ocarina of time experience we also have reduced clutter the only thing that i have turned on in reduced clutter is the mute low hp alarm sound and disable navi call audio which i might i'm gonna do that for this uh video and then all this stuff visual stone agony is a big one because if you don't have rumble you can see and uh, you can see it right here this is the visual stone of agony and once you go over like a grotto or something that where your controller would rumble if you had the rumble pack on the Nintendo 64, this will pop up and it'll play a little noise. Assignable tunics and boots is another big one, very helpful. For example, the water temple. The water temple is known to be very annoying in this game, but in the 3DS version, it helps because you can put the iron boots on your uh, equipment and you can just press the screen to equip the iron boots really quickly. Uh, in this game though, in Ship of Arcanian, you can have a D-pad, which you can see on my screen, and you can uh, assign the iron boots to the D-pad to do that, to just instantly assign the iron boots, and you can also do, um, you know, your tunics as well. You can do anything, actually. You can assign anything to your D-pad, which I use a lot in my videos, so that's a really big one. And then you have all this other stuff, which if you guys want to pause the video, like I said, take a look at it. It's all really neat. Next, we have graphics, and uh, first up is Animated Link in Pause Menu. This one is really cool because you can have custom animation in the Pause Menu, and I'll show you guys that right now. I have it on random, so it can be any one of these every time I open the Pause Menu. So every single time I open the Pause Menu, there will be a different little animation playing. It's really cool. I use this sometimes to get thumbnails for my videos, so I really recommend this one. It's just a little cool, like... It's just a cool little feature. And there's a lot of these in the Ship of Arcane. Just cool little features, nothing crazy, just kind of like for your own enjoyment. And then here's a lot of other stuff. Um, you can do that, which is <laughs> Nintendo 64 mode. That looks crazy. I don't think I've ever done that. Dude, just look at the difference. That is insane. <laughs> so that's like a, if you want to get a, like a I don't know, more like immersive, like go back nostalgic experience. You can do that. <laughs> and then you have all this other stuff. I use some of it. The dynamic wallet icon is cool. As you can see, it's a, uh, I have the giant's wallet or the adult wallet or whatever. I think it's a giant's wallet. Red rupee. Usually it is green and they're all green. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Every time you get a wallet upgrade, it'll go from like green to blue uh, and then to red. I think so yeah fixes is really cool as well i have almost every single fix except for remove power crouch stab because i like that one yeah fix l and r pause menu makes l and r buttons in the pause the same color this one is really cool it makes l and r switch pages like on the gamecube so normally it would be l and z or no it would be r and or z and r right yeah so z would go left r would go right now it's l and r left and right 
right <laughs> all this stuff uh fixed two-handed idle animations it is really cool then the camera stuff which we'll get into once we get there next up we have restoration this one is a couple cool things that you can add for example red boron oh. blood uh, restore the original red blood from that whatever that says because usually it's green blood to you know for like gore and violence you can have red ganon blood at the very end of the game so that's a cool thing i can't wait to see that and restore the old gold skull to look cutscene. that is a really cool one as well um, i might have a clip on the screen right now showing that i don't know if i do but uh this one is really cool all right so here's some big stuff here we got customized game controls the really the main thing i do here is play with d-pad or actually no camera controls free camera that's right free camera here it is free camera is one of the biggest things in the ship of harkinian pc port and then like i said you go into controls and you set that to your right stick or whatever but yeah we have like right stick aiming stuff like that this is really cool you can do your sensitivity all this stuff it's really in depth to get it exactly how you like it um and then of course we have the d-pad as equip items and miscellaneous i don't know if i've done anything here but you can do that if you want ah the cosmetics editor we're not going to go into this that much because I recently did a video they updated the cosmetics editor to have way more advanced editing. But as you can see, I have stuff changed right here. Like my hearts, it's the green and purple that's kind of like my color scheme. Um, I have my Navi green and purple as well. My magic meter is also changed. I have changed my tunic to purple. I will change my Zora tunic to another color once we actually get to that point in my playthrough. Uh, I have my buttons changed to match what I have them as on my controller. But yeah, if we go and look at all of this stuff, there, there is so much that we can change. I went way more in depth in my past video. So if you guys want to go check that one out, I'll put it up on the screen right now. Um, it is insane how much you can do with the cosmetics editor. SFX editor, I've never done before. I can't do it now because I have music off, but you can change music randomize the music um just it seems pretty cool so yeah if you want to do a randomizer and do randomize all you can have custom uh custum songs for for uh that are don't add up i guess i don't know another cool one is gameplay stats it it tracks your uh gameplay uh, i haven't really looked at this that much but it's pretty cool so i guess it tracks your save so this is just for this save that i created today really cool thing to just look at and see as you go through the game see how much enemies you defeated total game time and then here we go this is a big one frame interpolation this is your frame rate you can match your refresh rate of your monitor uh so minus 240 so that is how you get your frame 60 fps 30 fps whichever you want to do or beyond 240 if you want so like i said you're going to want to go into graphics and change the jitter fix to match your frame interpolation other cool things disable lod making models they're higher poly variants at any distance so we can actually see that right here i guess we can see this builder man uh hit i guess maybe let's see hold on hold on well i don't really notice any difference to be honest maybe i'm not far enough but uh disable draw distance that's okay so that that is visible we can see those rocks in the distance and then kokiri draw distance they fade i guess that's like a thing um, but if you enable it it will it will not allow them to fade and then skip text is another one. Holding down B skips text. I use that sometimes. Alright, now we've got the enhancements out of the way. That was a big one. Sorry about that. Uh, and then cheats. i um, not going to really go into this one because I've never done it. But as you can see, infinite money, health, ammo, magic. So this is just for fun. No clip. Climb everything. Actually, we can. I kind of want to do that one. I've never done this before nice we can climb everything so yeah this is just for if you want to like have some fun on ocarina of time maybe if you want to test stuff beta quest uh turns on ot beta quest hmm i actually don't know what that is i'm not gonna do it because it will reset my game but yeah um and then we can do that change age <laughs> So next up is developer tools, and I actually have OOT debug mode on right now uh, for this custom save that I've done uh, for this video specifically just to show off everything and not my main save that I've been playing on. So for debug mode, what I've been doing is just kind of 
just to add some variety, I've been going to different locations. Um, so right now I just went to Fishing Pod, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to press L, R, and Z at the same time, and uh, you have this menu. So you can actually do go to every single location in this game, including some uh, test test rooms. So we can go to 118 test map, and we can change our age from 5, 17. Uh, so yeah, I've actually done this before. It's pretty cool. I guess you can just go in here, mess around, test some things. <laughs> Save editor, I did that. Um, as you can see, my name is Bruh. I can change it to Cruh. <laughs> I am kind of wondering, just for fun, if you can go into the save editor, start a new save, and put yourself in any dungeon. So you can go to the Shadow Temple, just for fun, just to do like a, hey, I kind of want to play some Ocarina of Time, but I don't want to start a new game. Let's just do the Shadow Temple and give yourself all the stuff that you need up to that point and um, leave out everything else. I wonder if you can do that. I kind of want to test that out. I might do it in a later video or just on my own. All right, so last but not least, we have Randomizer. This is another huge thing. Randomizer in Ship of Harkinian is really cool. I have tested this out before a long time ago. I think even before I, I don't know. I think before I even started making videos on the Ship of Harkinian, which was like, God, like six months ago now, I think. I'm not experienced with Randomizers at all, but I do want to get into Randomizers in the future for, um, YouTube and for the future when I start streaming as well, but the Ship of Harkonnen randomizer is super super cool You can do it in game in engine instead of having to like set up your own like custom ROM or file or whatever There is so much stuff that you can do to edit the randomizer and they are constantly updating things and adding more things uh, for example when the Ship of Harkonnen was first released the randomizer was pretty bare bones, but now it seems like it's like on par or like almost on par with a regular randomizer that you would set up in like Project 64 or something like that. Like there is so much stuff. It, it's insane. Like I have, I don't even know what most of this stuff means. It is so cool. Just how much you can do. There's even an item tracker in game. So you don't have to go to like a separate website, go off screen and click to track your items, it'll automatically track your items. So like, for example, just to show you guys, if we go into save editor and go into our inventory and we select the egg, see that? It automatically tracked. We can take it away. <laughs> we can bring it back. So it automatically tracks everything. It's super cool. Crowd control, whatever that means. Enemy randomizer. That seems pretty cool. Randomizes regular enemies every time you load a room. Bosses, mini bosses, Oh, okay. I thought... Okay. Okay, I thought it was cooler than it was. I thought you would have random bosses. That would be really cool. But, hey, it's so cool. Randomizes regular enemies every time you load a room. Interesting. But, yeah, guys. Uh, that's all I kind of wanted to show you guys for today. Like I said, those were kind of some, like, extra... Like, the, the main thing and the main selling point for this PC port is stuff like 60 plus frames per second, widescreen, uh modern controls and and you know stuff like that that is the main selling point and the reason why i think this is the best but all of this extra stuff all of these enhancements and the cosmetics editor and all of this stuff is just adds on to how amazing i think this pc port is so guys if you want to know more about this pc port i will be putting the invite link to the discord in the description down below i will also be putting a tutorial on how to download the pc port a video from a youtuber named ultra creed uh, he is, that is the video that I watched. There's also tutorials in the actual Discord itself. Also, let me know down below in the comments if you want me to make my own tutorial on how to download the Ship of Arcadian. Um, I wasn't planning on it, but if you guys want to have everything kind of in one channel, so this video, all the past videos that I've made, and also a tutorial on how to download the ship of Harkinian. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, that's kind of all I can think of showing you guys today. Um, obviously, I don't know everything about this. So if you guys want to know more about like the intricate details, like how this was made and how all the coding was done, join the Discord, talk to people, go to Frequently Asked Questions, look at the website. I'll put all of this stuff down in the, in the description below. Yeah, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell if you want to get notified the second I upload a video. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.